Hi, good morning. It's good to be with you again. And today we are looking at Genesis chapter 3, verses 14 through 24. And in this uh, verse, in these verses, what we see is that uh, God pronounces um, curses upon the serpent and Adam and Eve uh, because of their sins of the rebellion and um, and what the point that we need to understand here is scripture clearly teaches that there are consequences for sin there are consequences for original sin and not only that there are consequences as sinners when we continue to sin the more we sin the more consequences there add up in our lives and so we need to understand that, and then we need to take heed to this warning. Now, as a result of the consequences or these curses, the, the, a couple of things I want to mention is, number one, the result is, and this is the most important, that our relationship with God was severed. Right? We have no longer were friends with God like Adam and Eve were before the fall. But we became enemies of God because of our sins. And we see later here in this chapter that God kicked Adam and Eve out of uh, the garden uh, because of their sin against him. And because also God didn't want them to eat the tree of life and then live forever in a sinful state. Um, that's the compassion of God. Now, that is the greatest consequence or the the biggest curse is that when our relationship with god is broken then everything else is broken in our lives so the second thing is as a result of that is we lost we've lost our identity in god we lost our true identity as God's creation, uh, not just God's creation, but the God, God's greatest creation. God created us in his own image, and we lose that as a consequence of the sin. It gets blurred more and more. Um, it's already blurred because of the original sin, Adam and Eve, but as we continue in our sinfulness and continue to sin against God, disobey God, live in sin, and we get deeper and deeper into sin, that identity that we have in Jesus Christ, it gets blurred more and more. And as a result of that, then we fall into other sins, which in turn will add upon us consequences or curses of sin after curses of sin. So it just becomes a vicious cycle. And that's why mankind, there's hopelessness without God. Because there's nothing but sin and consequences of sin. Now, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that Jesus made a way. In chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible says that God... Uh, the, the offspring of the woman, Adam, I mean Eve, and, uh, and Adam, that they, uh, that offspring will crush Satan's head or the serpent's head. And, it, and it's uh, talking about the, the cross of Jesus when Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the offspring, will crush or defeat once and for all, Satan and at the cross. And, and as a result of that, what Jesus did there at the cross 2,000 years ago um, is significant in, in, this, in, in this context that we're talking about in terms of the curses. Okay, This is what um, Paul writes in Galatians chapter 3. He says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. All right, so going back to what we our text today, that curse that was just 
lingering over us human human beings um what god did was send jesus christ so that he become that curse for us and that he would go to the cross and this is what paul says he'll go to the cross and him being the curse for us he's nailing that curse on the cross so that that original curse of adam and eve that comes upon all of us is broken once and for all not only that our sin nature is broken once and for all and we're no longer under the curse we're no longer living under the fear of the consequences or the curses of sin amen and so that's what jesus did for you and i so now we have the hope in jesus christ freedom in jesus christ over every sin every curse that can uh, possibly you know um, have been upon us we as believers in jesus christ we have new life the curse is gone there's it's is not over us anymore but you and i we what we have to do now is we have to live in that we have to believe in it and once again our re our relationship with god is restored through jesus christ he's removed the curse and now we, we know we now have our identity in christ once again and now what you and i our responsibility to do is to believe and to live out that identity once again through jesus christ and so i pray that you will um you will understand this this wonderful truth that christ has removed the curse of sin once and for all and the consequences of sin if we sin god is faithful and just we repent sincerely repent and then through the blood of jesus he remove any consequences for us and it's a, it's just a matter of us believing and trusting in the grace of our Lord and Jesus Christ. So I pray that that will be yours in Jesus' name and that you'll live in that grace and that power of his blood and the cross of Jesus Christ. You'll cling to that and so that you can experience that wonderful new life that Christ gives us. So God bless you. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you again next week. God bless.